All right, everyone, welcome back. We've got our pocket machined. Good idea now. Let's go ahead and select our toolpath group here and go ahead and verify everything and just see what our part looks like. And we can see now pocket looks good. Outside is good, so we'll go and proceed. So our next main feature is either the holes or we can do this open pocket here. Now, I prefer to do the open pocket first. I like to get the biggest operations out of the way before doing smaller operations such as drilling and tapping holes. So let's right click, analyze entity properties again and see what this radius here measures. And we can see again it's smaller than the half inch radius so you don't want to use the half inch end mill for this operation. We're going to use the 3 eighths end mill and we're going to do dynamic milling as well. Slightly different approach here for this open stepped pocket. So we'll go ahead and click dynamic milling, machining region, and we can either select the face here, we could select that whole chain, you could choose face selection here and select the face. Um, my preferred method is to do single edge selection. So if I zoom in a bit, single edge selected there, I can actually click on the edge here and now it brings up a different chaining dialog kind of. So the red arrow is where it's gonna go next. The blue arrow is where it could go next. If I click this adjust branches, now it flips the red and, and blue arrow so I can then go up if I wanted to. In this instance, I don't want to do that, so I'll just click that. And then this button here is next, so it's going to keep proceeding through that chain. So I want to go all the way to the end of this, and that is the chain that I want. and I want to choose from the outside. So we're going to approach from the outside here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to need an avoidance region, but it might. So what I want to make sure is that I'm not going to cut into this wall here or any uh, part of this, this part that isn't this pocket. So just to be safe, I will click an avoidance region here and I'm going to click the face and I'll choose this whole top face so that anything up there in this chain is going to be avoided so that it knows not to cut into that wall. So we'll click OK. <clears throat> choose our 3 8 flat end mill. Cut parameters. Again, it carried over those values from before. So I want to make sure to change that back to an appropriate roughing step over of 15%. I want to leave some stock on the floor and some stock on the wall, as we did before. Depth cuts, no. Entry motion, again, because it's entering from the outside, you don't actually have to worry too much about how it's going to enter, as you will see here shortly. Linking parameters, it looks like our depth is already set because we chose the geometry down at the base here. Just to double check, I always like to verify that as true. And we'll click OK. Auto save again. Really? So now we can see our toolpath is entering from the outside, doing exactly what we want. Let's run through a back plot. Take a look at the toolpath. It's plunging, and now you can see peel milling away, getting that pocket cleared out. Once again, keeping a nice long tool life, peel milling. So with the same situation we had here with the floor pocket, uh, the floor of this larger pocket, excuse me, we have that same, same issue here, so the floor finish here is less than ideal, so we'll want to open 
that up and copy paste. We'll go in here, change our step over percentage to an 85%. And again, no stock left on the floor, but stock still on the wall. Dirty operation now you can see, so we'll regenerate. And now it's really just kind of a contour basically that comes in and cleans that up. And just like we did on the inside, we're gonna come in with a finish pass contour on this wall. So again, we gotta bring that arrow down. We'll go ahead and create a contour. Same selection method as we did before with the single edge. So unselect face and we will select these edges and you can see it's backwards. So I need to reverse that and we'll continue now through the end of our chain. Click OK. Again, choosing our tool, 3 ace flat end mill, cut parameters. Again, none of that matters. Depth is good. And there we have a nice finish pass. All right, so we've got the hard tool paths out of the way, or the major operations, I should say. And we're ready to go ahead and start drilling and tapping these holes.